Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get uh, this effect which is distortion on the URP up and running and uh, I'm going to share some content uh, for this as well which is this content here in the shader stuff uh, it also works for, for transparent materials in the background so that's the good thing about uh, this version of distortion it has support for transparent uh, materials in the background. Uh, to make everything work, you don't only need what I'm going to provide you, which is this stuff, but you need something else as well, uh, which is this here. This is from uh, some other guy who made this uh, URP grab bars, which uh, grabs uh, image also uh, with transparent backgrounds. Uh, to get this installed, please copy this link here. So I will give you this link in the description down below. Uh, so you can copy that afterwards and add this to your project by going to Window, Package Manager, click on this plus icon and add package from Kit URL and then you paste it and press add. And then it's going to install this package, which is the URP grab bus. I have it already installed here. I just wanted to show you how to get this installed. So this is how you do it. Uh, this content that I'm providing you as a download, you also have to, uh, to import. Uh, I'm going to provide it to you as a Unity package. Uh, or as a zip where the Unity packages is inside. So you unpack the zip and then with edit import package. Where is it now? Asset, sorry, under asset import package, custom package, you just select uh, the downloaded Unity package and import it into your project and you have this content as well. So with both, both contents up and running, you can get this up and running. <laughs> so what you also need to set up is under edit project, project settings quality, you can click uh, on the render pipeline asset so it moves in the project there. And if you select this, you can click on the renderer by clicking here. So you see which renderer it's using. So it's using this renderer. And in this renderer, you have to add this grab pass render feature by pressing add render feature, then add the grab pass render feature. And the settings for the uh, grab pass render feature for this to work have to be like you see here. So it needs after transparency, so it works for transparency as well. And it needs this grab texture as grab texture name underscore grab texture. Also what you need is this use color texture as the shader light mode. Uh, otherwise this won't work. Uh, the sorting criteria just use common transparent. I actually didn't look too much into this, but like that it works. So just use these settings. I mean, this is an external asset, so I don't know too much about it, but it works and it works pretty good. And in my opinion, it works much better than all the other assets that do similar things. Uh, from the ones that I tested at least, maybe there are better ones, probably, maybe, I don't know. But for this one, this is perfectly fine. And the shader that is being set up here is this uh, distortion shader that I'm using on this material. So it's Hoax Games Distortion Shader. It has a couple of settings uh, that you can configure to your likings. Also, the channels are split between distortion map and uh, distortion mask, which is the alpha mask, and also between dynamic, which is influenced by the moving uh, speed that you can set up here. So this thing can move and everything, and the static one, which is always mapped statically on the image, on the on this billboard. And it works also on both sides. In this case, you can change all that, of course, here as well if you want, but I have configured it like this. And also, what I'm going to show you now is how you potentially could uh, generate this shader uh, because I generated this shader actually from the shader graph. So I have here this shader graph. I opened it by double clicking the shader graph so you can edit or check it out to your likings. Uh, save it if you make any changes. And uh, if you click on view generated shader, you can check out the code that was generated. And the thing is, this is not going to work out of the box with transparencies. To make it work with transparencies, this is why I generate this additional shader here, is uh, this line of code. You need that. All right. 
and we need it on two places. So you need it once here. So I, I just copied this line of code and I will paste it here. And there's a second place where we need this. And we are going to find the second place by searching for light mode with this smaller button. And if we search it, uh, we are going to find this here. And above of that, which is this, we have to add this as well. So if we added this on these two places, we can give the shader a name and we go to say it's Fox Games Distortion Test. And we select everything and copy it. Then we go in here, create shader, only shader, and call it Distortion Test. So let's open it, select everything, paste it. So this is in distortion test now and save. You cannot save it in here because it's not going to work. If you save it directly in the generated code of the shader graph, this is not going to work. So that's why we paste it here in a new shader. So we put this new distortion test shader. So let's see if it works. So here, we are using the shader distortion shader, hook skim distortion shader. But let's move to the new generated. I, I mistyped. Look, hoax coins. <laughs> so let's go to hoax coins. <laughs> Sorry for mistyping uh, and use distortion test, which is what we just created. And you see it still works the same. But I'm going to fix this naming because. <laughs> All right. So, hoax games, distortion test. And yeah, but I'm still going to use my distortion shader because I'm going to remove this distortion test. I don't need it. I'm using this one. You can use this one out of the box as well. You do not have to generate this. But if you want to, to make some changes to your shader graph, this would be the workflow how to get it up and running because you need this light mode added. And I don't know how to add this inside the shader graph. Otherwise, I would have added it here, but I just don't know. So if any one of you knows how to do this, how to add this to the shader graph, this light mode use color texture, then please uh, write it down in the comments below. It will be helpful for me and for a lot of other people as well, because it would save this generation, it would save the generation of this shader. So I'm going to remove this and I'm also going to show you how this looks in game it's going to get a little bit loud now if i press play uh, so i'm not going to talk but you will see the distortion when i dash with the player this is why i'm saying it's in front before i press play because it's going to be loud but let's check it out Yes, that's it. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial as well. I hope you like this effect. I hope you like this tutorial and the content that you are getting with it. And if you want more content like that, uh, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about this game here, Hoax News, uh, you can also write it down into the comments uh, and then I can make a video on this as well. All right, until next time.